YouTube, what is up? It's your boy Kuzi, and welcome to the 2024 Phasmophobia Halloween event, Crimson Eye. So what I want to do is I want to take you guys through the update and kind of explain it because a lot of people are confused on what it's all about. So before we jump into it, grab a coffee, have a seat, get cozy. And uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. If you want to find your way back for more content like this and other Phasmo stuff, you can hit the subscribe button. Uh, also, I'm recording this live on my stream right now. If you want to come join me, I stream Phasmo Phobia every Sunday around 8 p.m. Eastern. So the link for that's down below. So anyways, enough pitter patter, chitter chatter. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so as you can see, here's the lobby. It's very red, um, which fun scientific fact, uh, red actually helps encourage the release of melatonin in your brain. So uh, you're welcome. This is new. I'm not gonna go through the entire patch notes of the update um, because a lot of it was just bug fixes, but there were a couple things with like doors that changed. Uh, they changed the font, which you can kind of see here, but you'll see more as we get into gameplay. But I wanted to touch on the event board because this is something that's brand new to, to the community. But if you've ever played the game Helldivers, it's literally just like that. Instead of what you've been used to in like the holiday events, right? Where you do certain things and then you get the trophy. This one is a little bit different. So we have the Blood Moon event. And basically what it is, it is tracked among the entire Phasmophobia player base, okay? So all of these stages here are what we as a Phasmophobia player base are contributing to. Now, as of recording right, th right now, the event has been live for two days. And it is, uh, it's, it's not looking too good. As of recording this right now, things haven't been adjusted, but the devs have confirmed in the Discord that this will be adjusted. So probably by the time that you're seeing this, there might be, uh, this will probably be much higher. So what you have to do to contribute to this is you have to go to one of the four maps that are specifically marked with the Blood Moon. Uh, and then when you're in there, uh, you have to identify the ghosts correctly complete optional objectives so the three objectives you get and photograph any of the totems that you find i will show you those here in just a moment now with completing each of these uh requirements you get a set number of points and i have those numbers right here so correctly identifying the ghost gives you 10 points completing uh each optional objective you complete gives you two points each and uh, photographing any of the totems gives you one point each, okay? So if you're playing by yourself, I think it's a max uh, of 20 points that you can get. Those will be contributed towards the progress bars here. What maps can you go to? Which maps have been affected here? Uh, as you can see, uh, <laughs> you got Point Hope, Edgefield, Grafton, and Willow Street. And right now at the time of recording, the weekly challenge, which is no evidence, uh, is actually on Grafton Farmhouse. So you can kind of kill two stones with one bird, if you know what I mean. Uh, but the other thing I, I forgot to mention is this event is 16 days long. It's been it's been going on for two days now. Uh, so we've got about 14 and a half days remaining to get these challenges. If we as a community come together and finish all three stages, the grand prize is the Blood Moon Trophy. So your typical uh, trophy that you would get with completing a Phasmo event, but we as a community get to unlock the Blood Moon weather, which you will see here in a moment. When you have the Blood Moon weather, things get a little bit crazy, and I'll dive into that here in just a moment. But if we do this, we unlock that weather type permanently as like a random chance to happen on a contract. So uh, once we get into a, a contract here, uh, you'll see why I think it's I think it's wise that we try to bust our booties and uh, get on out there. So as we load in here, I will tell you, uh, on every map, there are between one and I think five totems that can potentially spawn, and they're not like a set spawn location. I like to do this as fast as possible so I can contribute the most, spawn the, the most points, but here is a first look at the blood moon weather. It's the, the red moon, everything is red. So we're on Willow Street right now. Everything is decked out in this like, I don't know, like pagan occult, satanic type shit and i love it but uh you really don't need a flashlight everything's red you got these lights on these don't count towards the electronics or the uh the lights being on so these won't affect spear box not working and all of that uh but i also have the breaker on by default with these custom settings this is like nightmare mode with uh the breaker on and the screens but um yeah it's really cool now there's a couple little things with the Blood Moon weather type that you gotta know, okay? 
Uh, but before I tell you about that, this is what you're looking for. This is the Blood Moon Totem, okay? And if you listen closely, you hear the, uh, the little ominous drone thing happening. So you just take a photo of that, it'll disappear, and then you check your photos, and then boom. So that's, uh, I already got myself one point, okay? So we had the breaker here. Um, and like I said, on every map, there's between one and four. Here's another. Take a photo of that. Thank you very much. Uh, so the Blood Moon. The Blood Moon weather type fucks up everything, okay? So it makes the ghosts faster. They go 1.25, uh, times faster than what you're used to. So it doesn't matter the difficulty, uh, on Amateur through Nightmare. You're going to be uh, dealing with a 1.25 times speed multiplier on the ghost. So good luck fighting a Revenant or a Thay. The only other important thing I'll mention with uh, what you got to know about the weather type is Sanity Drain is up 15% from whatever you have it set on. So I've been in the light this entire time. And if I walk out to the truck, my Sanity is probably already going to be down to 90%. I haven't touched the Cursed Possession. There's been no ghost event. Nothing, nothing to cause my sanity to drop. And as you can see, we're down to 80, 85, 90. Okay. So it's, uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, the objective is to identify the ghost correctly, survive, which I think even if you die, you still get the points. Um, but if you survive, the Blood Moon Weather type also gives you a 10% multiplier or like profit boost for your uh, your photos and stuff like that. So it's really neat. So let's go ahead and jump into the contract. This weather type is only applicable for the maps that have the Blood Moon icon on it. Okay, so if you go to Tanglewood right now, uh, maybe you want to take a little bit of a breather. Uh, you d That's not supposed to be there. Um, aha. Okay. Well, there we go. Um, anyways, if you go to Tanglewood or any of the maps that don't have that little icon that you saw earlier, uh, you'll just have a normal map, a normal contract, all of that stuff. Okay, so here's here's the other one. So we found one, two, three, four totems. So we are chilling, man. Big chilling. But I think we found the ghost room. So it's either going to be in here. And considering... Oh my god, we're dealing with Bob Ross. That's the second time it's thrown the paintbrush. All right. Airball? Okay, let's go grab our other equipment here. I'm gonna go ahead and... I also have to be mindful of my sanity. We might be playing on professional because I'm just now easing back into Phasmo and making content for it. See my most recent upload. But, uh... Yeah. Maybe we'll have a nice easy ghost to deal with here. And then... Turn off the light. We have a handprint. Easy peasy, okay. Where do we... 3.9? Storing a lot of shit. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely in the ghost room. Turn off the light here. Where are you? Are you here? How old are you? Okay, spirit box. I think that's the last two we're getting, to be honest with you. I think we are playing on Nightmare. Which is fine. Can you give me a sign? That's a, that's staying up for, I don't think it's in Obake. The other thing too that they changed is obviously the text, um, as you just saw. What do you think about it? How are we feeling about all this? It's italicized and we need to detect, prevent, and escape the ghost during a hunt. So, uh, let me know down in the comments how you feel about this, about the, uh, the text change. I'm not a huge fan, but this is like my second day playing it, so it's kind of starting to grow on me a little bit. But yeah, how, how we feeling about it? Alrighty, so we got the crucifix here, so... Progress for the... Event. Go grab... I think that's all we're getting. I feel like we're dealing with the Pulte. Could also be Mimic. Uh... Well... Right. Okay, well, we know what ghosts we're dealing with. Now we just have to... Okay, well, there's progress. Thank you. Is that it? Is that a good three star, three star, three star? Yep, don't mind if I diddly do. You touch this door. Oh, that's stupid. Delete that. I'm so glad they added that, by the way. 
Alright, so now we just have to detect with a motion sensor. So we're dealing with the mimic. How I know that is, uh, even, even though I'm not certain that we're playing on nightmare mode or professional, the only ghost we were left with was, uh, Phantom, Pulte, and Mimic, and we have ghost orbs. So, regardless of whether or not we're playing on professional or nightmare, we still have the orbs to back us up. How you doing? Oh, you're gonna hunt now, aren't ya? Aren't ya? Yeah, you probably are, you little weasel. Ghost photo? Nice. Okay, so I can start hunting from right there, and it's probably gonna hunt. But you guys gotta see this ghost, dude, when he hunts. Can you give me a sign? Actually, I'm kinda in a tough spot right now. Oh, uh, what I was talking about in the intro, the doors. So you know how previously you could just kind of like open, open a door no matter which way it went and be fine? It, it doesn't work like that anymore. They, they added like more collision with the door. So, um, it just takes a little bit of getting used to, but outside of that, that's about all you got to know. So no really huge changes. Nothing new got added aside from what they did to the maps in the event. Okay. We got the motion sensor. So now we just have to escape the ghost during a hunt. And I really... Okay, this is a... Yeah. It's a push door. Alright, um... Maybe we... Here, I'll tell you what. Let's go... I kind of wanted to get one more photo. But it's fine. I'm gonna go grab my flashlight because I need to see. My sanity is nuked into oblivion right now. Alright, so we're back with our flashlight. Uh, I don't know what our cursed possession is. I didn't see monkey paw. It's got to be music box, right? Wait a minute. I didn't check for tarot cards or anything. Oh, here it comes. See, it's faster. Obviously, it's slow right now because of the... I might die. His eyes glow, dude. Okay. But yeah, so if you're trying to identify the ghost based on like its hunt behavior, good luck with the Blood Moon Weather type because uh, it is going to be slightly faster. Now there are ghosts like the Thay and the Revenant and the Moroi when you're at zero sanity. Uh, that are going to be pretty obvious, but that one, it's it's kind of tough. Welcome but, back. okay, this so, we got the tier 3 motion sensor. I didn't get the bone, so no perfect game. But as you can see, we got 20 Blood Moon team points. We did everything. We found all the totems, we correctly identified the ghosts, and we did all of our optional objectives. So the max you can get is 20 per person, uh, per contract. So, if you're playing with a, a group, it might be best, you know, because you could potentially get up to 80 points if you guys do everything. But yeah, so uh, let's do one more. Let's do Edgefield. But yeah, you pretty much do the same thing at, at all of these uh, all of these maps. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we have to uh, firelight, motion sensor, and escape the ghost during a hunt again. All right. So first rule of thumb, as far as like a guide to kind of speed run this a little bit, is to just start looking for your totems. Okay, and sometimes you can hear it if it's above or below you. I don't know if you can really hear it right now. But we got we got one close. I'm gonna shut the garage first. That way everything's cleared out. I'm also gonna check for the breaker. Okay, breaker is not in the garage. So we gotta go downstairs anyways. Good thing is I think the ghost is up up in one of those two rooms. Okay, this is a pool door. Okay. Um well we have the summoning circle. And the breaker is down here. Good to know. There are no totems down here whatsoever. I have yet to find one. So that means all of them are going to be upstairs. But this is a pretty big map anyways. Let me just double check, make sure I got... Okay. Everything's clear. Downstairs and the basement are all... All done. Ah! So if we get all the photos, we can make this a perfect game. 
There's another. Anything in here? Nope. Okay. From what I've seen, though, uh, it seems like there always seems to be one here. So that's a good one to rely on. Uh, so now we got those. Now let's figure out what type of ghost we're dealing with. And go ahead and get all of this stuff set up, too. So we need a firelight. We need a... Okay. So the ghost is chilling right here. I'm gonna get another photo of that. The good thing is, it's it's easier to get perfect games. Okay, this is becoming an interaction-only challenge again. This dude is kind of all over the place. Alright, let's get a crucifix now. I don't want him to hunt me just yet. My sanity is already at like 75. Hasn't really done anything yet, though. Okay, we got the motion sensor. I just heard that. Feels good. I didn't grab- I did grab a crucifix. I'm smart. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? How old are you? How did you die? Are you close? Are you near? Let me turn these off. Where are you? How old are you? An elderly victim. Okay. We got spirit box. Okay, this is looking to be potential twins. Are you here? You might be. Uh, it's a wraith. I guarantee you, it's fucking following me, dude. Like, that's... <laughs> okay. I guarantee you, I'm gonna put the salt down, and it's gonna not step in it. I'll grab the dots just to be safe, but I think we are all nightmare mode. Let's just find out, shall we? Is this a wraith? Put it right by the motion sensor. Can you give me a sign? Oh, don't go in there. be hard to do ceiling dots with these drapes on the freaking ceiling. Are you close? Yeah, I don't know if we are gonna get the dots or not. Uh, so it's either gonna be spirit wraith or twins. Ghost orbs don't even bother. Just in case we are playing on professional. No UV. Alright, so we have everything. So let's grab smudge. And then we just need to escape the ghost now. And then get a few a few more photos. Well, it stepped in the salt. I'm pretty sure. Where's my camera? Where's my camera? What did I do with my camera? Oh, I left it over here. I'm pretty sure. Disturb salt. Okay. So no wraith. That tells me it's probably twins. I don't think it's spirit. We need to get the ghost to hunt us though. Uh, we do have the summoning circle. And if I die here, that is a-okay. I'm not gonna have enough sanity for this though. Oh, okay. Maybe it'll hunt. I don't... There we go. Hello? It's not hunting. It's probably a spirit. Who knows, man. I'm erring more on the side of twins, though. I'm in zero sanity, so they can hunt quite literally at, at any time. Hello? Hunting right on top of me. I love it. We run. Hide. It's fine. Everything's good. So we smudged the 35. Once over. Okay. So we have to do we have to do a spirit test. Okay, I can actually, since I got it, I can go ahead and... Uh, I just heard that. It threw something and then touched the window, I think. Stand by. 
It threw something in there, and then I think it touched this window? Maybe not. We'll see. The ghosts like to run- that's the other thing I will mention about this. The ghosts roam a lot more with this, uh, weather type. So, if you have a ghost that gives you freezing evidence, it's, uh, gonna be a bit challenging to get that. Okay, blew that out. This is getting closer to spirit territory. I'm gonna put this here. But what if it is the twins and it- the decoy is right there because the- it seems like this is the ghost room. Okay, we're going on like two minutes right now. This is a spirit, dude. Alrighty. Or was it three minutes on the- I don't fucking know, man. Caught between a spirit and the twins. I don't know which is which. Airball, no Oni. I thought you guys trolled me. If you would like to troll me in Twitch chat, feel free. Link in the description. You just touched the front door? Oh, this is bait, bro. Alright. That was my chat, trolling me. Maybe I do get three evidence. Oh. What? What? 3.4. 3.8. Yeah, maybe I'll just get two. Now it's hunting. Oh, that is much faster. Yeah, it's definitely twins. I'm dead. I think. I might be. That's definitely twins. Fast twin. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm glad we stayed because that was that was like right on the three minute mark, if not just before. I didn't see the exact time that I smudged it during the first hunt. I thought it was still hunting and I couldn't open the door. But yeah, okay. Cool. So that is pretty much the update here. Let's see if we were right. If not, we're just we just didn't get ten points for the uh for the event. I fucking hate it here. Damn. Well, that's okay, because we still got nine points for the event. All right, man. I'm doing my part. Are you? Anyways, uh, well, that's going to do it for this one. Again, that is all you need to know about this event. Uh, it is a fun one, and then that's not to mention all the, the three other side quests that you can do if you get bored of doing the uh, Blood Moon. Uh, so I'm going to try to get all of these as well as try to contribute somehow to the Blood Moon event. But uh, yeah, so again... Uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Uh, if you are playing on console, welcome to the community, man. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you want to know how to get a head start, uh, if you have never played Phasma before, check out this video right here to get you completely set up as a beginner. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.